From our Center for the Arts studio, this is your AU TV 20 News Break. I'm Lydia Bice. Thanks for tuning in. The Ashland Center for Nonviolence at Ashland University is hosting the 7th annual John D. Stratton Conference on Friday and Saturday, February 25th and 26th. On Friday evening, keynote speaker David Ragland will present Constructive Nonviolence and Reparative Justice in the faculty room of the John C. Myers Convocation Center at 7 p.m. This event, co-sponsored by AU College of Arts and Sciences Symposium Against Indifference, is free and open to the public. The Ashland Center for Nonviolence promotes alternatives to violence through education, training, and building relationships that foster awareness and consideration of issues related to nonviolence and social justice. On Saturday, a conference featuring a series of presenters from across disciplines will start at 8.30 a.m. in the Doubt College of Business and Economics. Registration for the conference is required and can be completed at acn.nationbuilder.com. On the morning of Monday, February 21st, hundreds of children and parents attended the United Way's Big Red Bookshelf event, which was held at the Richland Carousel Park to promote children's literacy. The Big Red Bookshelf is a project maintained by the United Way of Richland County, which sees nine bookshelves stationed throughout the area with books for children to take, read, and either return or keep. Dan Varn, the executive director of the United Way of Richland County said, our job is to continue to work with local partners to ensure that our kids are reading at the best level that they possibly can in order to benefit a future success. Russian President Vladimir Putin received no support from members of the UN Security Council at an emergency meeting Monday night for his actions to bring separatists in eastern Ukraine under Moscow's control. The US called his moves a pretext for a further invasion Many members condemned his violation of Ukraine's territorial integrity, and even close ally China is urging a peaceful solution. Russia happens to hold the Security Council's rotating presidency this month and wanted the meeting to be closed, but diplomats said they agreed to an open session under intense pressure from Western and other members. Now a look at our five-day weather forecast here in Ashland, Ohio. Today we are seeing rain showers with a high of 58 and low of 28. Wednesday is cloudy with a high of 33 and low of 21. Thursday there is a 70% chance of snow with a high of 34 and low of 26. Friday we'll see more snow and Saturday we'll see partly cloudy skies with highs of 29 and 31. That is it for this AUTV20 news break. Be sure to follow us across social media at AUTV20. I'm Lydia Bice. Thanks for watching.